Hello everybody, welcome back. Today is a very big day. Why, you may ask? Well, today I am doing my final island tour for Ladybug, or at least this version of Ladybug. My next island technically will still be named Ladybug, but um, after this island tour I will be promptly demolishing my island completely, so this is a last look at this island. Um, I will put the dream address somewhere on this video, um, probably in the description. I might throw it up on the screen as well. If you would like to come visit my island in a dream, feel free to do so. Um, that is already up and running, so if you do decide to uh, dream about my island, I hope you very much enjoy visiting it. And if you need some help navigating, this video should be able to help you. So first we're going to look at my island map. So as you can see, my villagers include Apple, Agnes, Eric, Tia, Tangy, Ketchup, Flora, Marina, Bob, and Cookie. Lots of very bright and colorful villagers. Lots of peppy villagers, unfortunately. Um, but they're cute, what can I say? And we've got a strange theme of food-themed um, villagers as well. Food and drink themed in ketchup, tea, tangy, and good old apple up there. And technically cookie, because cookie is named after a food. Anyways, then this, as you can see, is my island map. There is a whole lot of pathing going on on my island, a little bit of terraforming, um, some decent amount of bridges and inclines. I think I'm actually maxed out on inclines on my island. I have five, six, seven, eight. I have eight inclines. I believe that is the max. So I'm not maxed out on um, bridges though, but that's only because I only have one river in my island. It just goes straight across. Um, so yeah, this is my island. You can kind of see the layout that I have and where I kind of have all of my um, buildings, like my Nook's Cranny and my Abel's right next to each other and stuff like that. Oh, and you can see my dream address right below my map. That's perfect. Um, so yeah, I guess we will get started. Um, since we're already here, let's start in my house. So as you can see, I've got a lot of the dreamy furniture in my house, um, lots of pink. I am a big fan of the pink, got this pink gamer chair as well, and these um, festival floor lights that I just think are so pretty, and um, a pink chandelier which is also very lovely. This next room is my kitchen, as I stated in my previous island tour video. Kind of looks like a dining hall or a cafe of sorts, um, but it is in fact a kitchen, technically. So yeah, this is my kitchen. Is my music room. I am a musician and a singer-songwriter, so I kind of made a room in my Animal Crossing island that I would want to have in real life. So I've got some musical instruments and some fun stuff like that. My bathroom is under the sea themed. I've got a lot of mermaid furniture and just a whole lot of stuff going on in my bathroom, but I love the mermaid furniture and I really love the steam coming off of some of the furniture in the bathroom as well. Library, there is kind of lots of knickknacks and random stuff um, up here since it is the attic, so it's kind of like a personal library slash like storage area like you would have any old attic. And the last stop in my house is my basement. This is kind of where I have all of my plaques on display. 
And it's sort of supposed to be like a storage area, sort of like the attic, but a little bit more like random. Um, so it kind of looks funky, but it's kind of intended to look that way. So yeah. All for my house, and now we're going to go outside and see what this all looks like from the outside. This is what my house looks like from the outside. Um, as you can see, I've got some of this carnival themed furniture around, as well as a little um, tarot set, some cards, and a couple bears having tea. Next area you will see is my construction site. It's just kind of a random spot right next to my road. Um, there is a road going all the way across my island, um, even across the bridge, and this is sort of the middle of the road right here. This is the first of many beaches on my island. This is a little personal picnic beach. Personally, is my favorite beach in the entire island. This is one of many little kind of community sections with a little ATM and some benches. Somebody left a bag of money over here. Oh well. And then back here is kind of just like an empty patch, like overgrown um, kind of vibe right here. Pretty simple. I try not to make everything super complicated in my island. My little street side, um, music playing area, leading up to my shops right behind resident services. Again, it's pretty simple. I like having instruments on my island, so this is just one way I decided to add them. A ladder up the cliff this way. You will see there is a little concert venue where you can come um, watch a concert anytime. Down here, there is a little rooftop lounging area, a place for you to dry your laundry as well. We're going to go in front of resident services now. And we will come to our next beach. We start with some places to lounge and have a snack. A place to come tan and get a drink from our lovely juice bar right here. Going into a more sporty section where you can surf and maybe go swimming. And the beach kind of extends into a different area of the island. Okay, we're gonna come down the street. We'll pass a telephone booth and a vending machine to find Cookie's house. This is our first villager house of the tour, and she has a little dog park that she runs. So, some tire toys. Again, a pretty simple idea. Um, but I think this is maybe one of my favorite villager houses that I have designed. Street, we come to Agnes's house. Agnes's, Agnes runs the little seaside souvenir shop. You can get a snow globe or go get your nails done, pick up a snack or a bonsai tree, anything really that you might need on your vacation to Ladybug. In our shop, we find Apple's Cafe. There's coffee and people doing homework. Lots of options for what you can grab to eat. Um, yeah, just a whole lot of stuff. I used a lot of the diner furniture, which I think is one of my favorite sets, especially the pink diner furniture is my absolute favorite. 
off on the beach, you will see an extension of Apple's cafe, some exterior um, dining over here, even though technically it's all exterior, but you know. <laughs> and then a little very, very simple beach over here with a turtle and a ukulele and I think this is a cricket sitting here as well, as well as a little uh, Mrs. Flamingo standing in the background there. Through the cafe and up through Apple's um, shop, we get to Apple's house. Apple has a little apple juice stand, as well as an Apple TV sitting outside for her viewing pleasure, and some beautiful white instruments playing classical music whenever she wants because she's a pop star and she deserves it. Back of Apple's house, we find this beautiful um, little archway leading up to another villager's house. So be sure to check out the wedding beach. This beach features a wedding ceremony venue as well as a reception venue. And then you go through this archway and all of a sudden you're on your honeymoon. And this is the very simply designed honeymoon beach. themed walkway, we get to Tia's house. Now Tia runs kind of a better home and gardens kind of shop. She has a lot of greenery and flowers and trees and anything garden related, she's got it, including lots and lots of um, butterflies. And she has so many flowers nearby. house area as you can see where you can come and grab your cat grass or roses or anything like that. This ramp from Tia's house and going up you will see a plushie shop that is owned by Flora. Lots of dreamy shelves and dreamy plushies, as well as some stuffed teddy bears and pandas as well. And coming back here, you will see the arcade and a little private beach for Flora to have her own time outside. that leads up to Tia's house, we can come down between these tightly placed cliffs and we will first see my flower garden. This flower garden features every single flower in the game, including Lily of the Valleys and a golden rose and everything in between. Every color of every single species of flower. To the museum. This is one of my favorite parts of my island. You can see the dinosaur statue in front of the museum as well as some water features on the side with some floating topiaries, not to be confused with the floating topiary furniture item. These are cacao trees actually, so they're technically floating cacao trees, but still. Got a couple um, decorative furniture items out here decorating the museum, leading into the little fossil dig site for the kiddos to peruse before they go into the museum that their parents are forcing them to go to. Actually, start from uh, right to left. So we're going to take a shortcut and while we do that we will see I have all five types of trees on display behind the shops. 
and some decorative items on the cliffs um, above the shops as well. And a very overgrown, on purpose, um, flower garden as well. So these are my shops, lots of 2.0 items um, at near my shops, some clothing shelves, and all leading into this little, um, like, county fair kind of vibe with like, these booths and carnival games and prizes, antiques, other stuff that you can maybe win at the fair. Then up you will see the campsite and some other um, camp related items leading up to Eric's house. Eric runs the campsite. There's lots of fire elements and tents and chairs and other outdoorsy type furniture. Around Eric's house you'll see a lot of flowers leading into forest area. Lots of trees and you might catch a glimpse of the secret beach. Secret Beach has some pirate themed furniture, so when Red comes along, it looks like maybe there's a pirate coming to visit. Not to be confused with Gullivar, of course. Then we come across and we see more trees, some fencing, and uh, lots and lots of flowers and furniture. Come back through Eric's house and see it's a kind of mountain thing going on, and this is actually my orchard. It's disorganized, none, none of the trees are really close together or organized by fruit. It's meant to be this way. And you can come pick your fruits, you can weigh them on the scale, and bring them home and make some tasty dishes with your um, kitchenette or whatever you have in your storage. We're gonna go straight down and see Ketchup's farm. She's growing every crop that you can grow in the game. You'll see she also has a little honeybee um, farm going on as well. And some watermelons growing in a patch right next to her house. Up the river, and we will see out of the um, left side of our screen that there is a little preschool. And this preschool is run by the one and only Tangy, um, one of my favorite villagers on the island, and hands down one of my favorite builds on this island as well is my little daycare. And there's also a little play area on the beach for tiny students. So some scooters, some gyroids playing in the sand, a little kiddie pool as well for the little little ones, as well as some playground equipment up here in the grass. Beach, lots of fishing furniture received from CJ, and it happens to be right next to the dock where you can talk to Cap'n. And we've got some fishing hooks, fishing rods on display as well. Next to where Tangy's house was, we will find. Bob's gas station. He's gassing up some race car beds. And Bob's gas station also doubles as a body shop for your car. So you can come get your car fixed by Bob. And even though he's lazy, I promise you he works super hard. These cars run so well.
second. And the road ends in a parking lot. The parking lot belongs to this bakery. And the owner of this bakery is our last villager on the island, which is Marina. So Marina has some cakes and goodies on display at her dessert shop. You can come get in line, order your snack, pick it up at the counter, and then come around and sit and enjoy your delicious treat. A coffee shop coming up. These next couple beaches aren't super interesting. They just have some extra stuff laying around where you can come sit down and lounge. Maybe participate in an art or art, arts or crafts or two. That was weird. I don't know why I said that like that. In a craft or two. You can come lounge on the beach couch. And it leads up to the last portion of the island of the beaches with a yacht and a telescope and a little coffee shop. House. It's behind Marina's bakery. And as you can see, she has a lot of mermaid furniture and seashell furniture as well and lots of pink and white flowers. You will see a nice little treat at um, behind the resident services. There is a little skyline. Um, it lights up during the night time with some floor lights of different colors, as well as that open neon sign and some other furniture items that I used. So, yeah. Island tour for version one of Ladybug. My next video, I will be demolishing this entire island, but don't worry if you would like to come see it for yourself. I will keep the dream address up as long as humanly possible um, so that people can come visit my dream address if you want to. No pressure, obviously. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!